Soil has been demonised and considered a peasant activity. It's a dirt cheap situation. The reality is, unless our food is actually from rich, alive, minerally enhanced, nutrient dense origin, and we are in a situation where the production of that food and our general resources and needs is creating extra soil, is enhancing the quality of soil, then we cannot call ourselves civilised. We cannot call ourselves advanced or intelligent. And we're actually operating under an illusion right, of academia because our base resource is depleting and we don't yet even understand it. Biological farming involves balancing the microbes in the soil and remineralizing the soil so that microbes have a basis of delivering nutrients into the plant. Microbial systems are generally speaking in a, a dynamic balance all the time. In um, simple terms, uh, symbioses develop. One organism feeds another organism which feeds another one which feeds another one. You have a self-perpetuating reaction that can develop. Essentially, microbial balancing seeks to um, perpetuate and in incorporate a system which will fix the problem by itself. There are organisms in the microbial world whose job it is to capture energy. There are organisms whose job it is to capture nitrogen. There are organisms whose job it is to find phosphorus, to do stuff. And they will do it if they're all together and happy. They will do it on their own and they don't need supervision. First of all, fix, fix the soil health and then, um, and then the wealth will follow and that's, that's where carbon fits into the cycle. Um, you can trade it now and so on, but the, uh, the, 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 the real trick is, is, the, is the health, is the wealth of the soil. So that's, that's where it's really going to end up. And the, uh, the carrot for the farmer, the good farmer, he, he will reap the rewards when, when, he, when he fixes his, uh, his, primary, his primary problem. And that's fix the soil and the rest will fix itself.